Did you guys hear about that girl who had the feather pop out of the side of her face? What? Oh. It's so weird. Yeah, it was on NBC. This like two year old had a two inch feather come out of the side of her face. It just like came out for no reason. Yeah, then they don't know where it came from. Where was she? Evolution, man. <laughs> Like to like grow facial hair and stuff. They like, think that she inhaled it, but that would go into her stomach, not her face. Right. Yeah, that would go into her lungs if she inhaled it. Actually, that would make more sense. Exactly. Maybe it like yeah. maybe she slept on a feather pillow and it got like lodged in there at some point. Ew. So oh my god, is that Miranda? She looks like she had a rough night. I knew she shouldn't have gone to Hattie's. Hold on, is that blood? Zombie! Run! <laughs> oh my god. Do you think it's safe to go out for a smoke? Probably not. Let's go out anyway. has it been? It's been 28 days. You know, I never thought I would actually say that I miss civilization. Yeah, it's too quiet. I miss the sound of cars and airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> quiet until you hear someone getting eaten alive. What the? Okay, seriously, who let the gate unlock? You can't kill them. Are you serious? Of course we can. They're still human. Just because they're human doesn't mean they're persons. Okay, okay. There's only one way to settle this. Debate. Here are the assumptions. Assumption one. We live in a materialistic universe, therefore zombies cannot be the result of necromancy, possession, demons, or souls escaping from hell. <sighs> Assumption two, we are discussing classic zombies here. That is, those who seek flesh, have stimulus response functions, and the condition is communicable through bodily fluids, such as saliva and blood. All right. Both of you have 60 seconds to state and defend your claims. No ad hoc amendments and no ad hominem attacks. Zombies are still human in form. Ethically, it would be wrong to kill another human being. There are three things to consider before killing a zombie. Dignity of the body, state of the infection, and potential for recovering consciousness. Kantian ethics state, there is an inherent dignity of the human form. The human body deserves respect. Secondly, we don't know the state of the infection. Therefore, the zombies aren't dead, per se, but in a state of madness. And finally, there is a potential that an antidote will be discovered, uh, curing the virus and restoring zombies to their rational state. Zombies, while being human in form, are not persons. According to Charles Taylor, Persons are individuals who have a sense of self, an understanding of the past and the future. They can make choices. They hold values. In short, they can adopt life plans. Zombies don't satisfy any of these criteria. <gasps> Nietzsche, what are you doing here? You're dead. No, God is dead. But never the matter. Stop debating. Kill the zombies. Exercise your will to power. He's right. This is no time for ethics.